here we are, New Zealand's Parliament. There's the Parliament building. There's Beehive. Special Rapporteur on Torture, one of the world's most respected authorities on torture, are being completely ignored. After he visited Assange in May, Nils Meltzer sent an official letter to the British authorities demanding that they take immediate measures for the protection of Assange's health and dignity. On Friday, Meltzer bluntly said, what we have seen from the UK government is outright contempt for Mr. Assange's rights and integrity. Despite the medical urgency of my appeal and the seriousness of the alleged violations, the UK has not undertaken any measures of investigation, prevention and redress required under international law. The British government ignores the respected United Nations expert because it is a lawless government. The behavior of successive governments in Australia is likewise utterly disgraceful. Julian Assange is an Australian citizen who urgently needs protection. In the name of their military alliance with the billionaires in Washington and London, the Australian ruling class has thrown him to the wolves. It is useless to expect these governments to adhere to the rule of law or to respect human rights. If you have any doubts about this, look at the ongoing war in Afghanistan. U.S. warplanes carried out nearly 40 airstrikes each and every day during September of this year, international campaign to free Julian Assange. If the past decade of persecution of Assange 
Chelsea Manning and WikiLeaks has revealed one thing, it is that no one can rely on the so-called justice system in the United States or Great Britain or any other country. I repeat what we've said, only a mass movement of workers, young people, students and genuinely principled defenders of democratic rights organised internationally is enough to force them to free Julian Assange 